Okay, so what we have is a no crank. It just clicks. So that's the solenoid clicking. So I've got reliable 12 volts right to the uh, from the battery to the solenoid. And when I try cranking, it doesn't dim at all. So that tells me that there's no supply problem. Now when I check the uh, output terminal on the solenoid, try cranking, nothing. Absolutely not. Completely dead. If I don't try cranking, if I turn the key off, and I short the, uh, the other side of the solenoid, which goes to the starter motor, the starter spins fine every single time. So there's no dead spots. Now, if I turn the key to crank to engage the Bendix, which is engaging, and I draw this in, it cranks fine. What I can also do is show this test light here. If I try cranking multiple times, you see the test light light? I'll try it again. So, pretty simple diagnosis. The contactor, the solenoid has two jobs. One is to fire a magnetic, a big solenoid that physically engages the starter bend next to the flywheel, which it is doing and is doing it reliably. The other thing the solenoid has to do is bridge the connection from the battery to uh, this other side of the contactor. It's a big relay that actually provides power to the starter motor. It is not doing that reliably. If I rapid fire it like you just saw, if I do it once, it won't. See? Nothing. But if I do it a lot, eventually it will uh, make a connection. And it cranks fine too. So I don't think there's anything really wrong with anything other than the contactor and the solenoid. Probably just corroded from sitting, if I had to guess. So I, it doesn't seem to be improving as I try it. It's not like it's taking less and less tries as I, as I work it. It may not be um, salvageable in terms of just using it. It's probably all crappy and corroded and carboned or who knows what. But I think if I take the starter off, maybe I can take apart the solenoid. Uh, I hope I can and to just kind of clean the, the contactor plate that, that makes that connection there, and then uh, maybe it'll work just fine. I really don't want to replace the whole starter because there's nothing wrong with any of this except that, that one plate that makes the, uh, the bridges the high current connection. So, I mean, as long as it's not so bad that it's eroded away and it's got holes in it because of, you know, excessive current or who knows what. But assuming this thing comes apart with just tools and I don't need to press or replace anything, uh, I should be able to fix this, no parts required doesn't look like it's very easy to get to the the bottom bolt there, this thing. This one down here looks like a, a real struggle. Um, the upper one looks super easy, so I hope they don't require you to, like, move the engine off the frame. That would just suck. I mean, it's tempting to drill a hole kind of in the side of the frame there to get to it. Unfortunately, they didn't provide one. That would have been a little too handy. So, not sure. It might just be a kind of wrench along the bottom of this type of fare. Maybe there's enough room to swing it if I pull the ground off the block, get that out of the way. Maybe I can swing a, a ratcheting wrench. I'm not sure, but that's my diagnosis anyway. Effectively, a new starter would fix this problem. Um, I'm just not willing to replace it yet.